Hi friends, welcome to my channel Tableau Tricks. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the funnel charts. So we will see what are the different techniques to create a funnel chart. But before that, let's see uh, what is a funnel chart all about. Funnel chart is used to display a given quantity through different stages or different categories. So I have already uploaded the data set onto this Tableau desktop. So uh, let me show you how the data set uh, looks like. So this is the data set that I have uploaded onto my tab view. So if you see here, we have got different dimensions like row ID, order ID, ship date, customer ID and various other dimensions. But the important ones here are uh, subcategory and sales. So I'm going to use these two fields to create a funnel chart today. So let's get started. So I will open up my tab view desktop here and then i will go to a sheet i will open up a new sheet here and then uh, because i am creating a funnel chart on uh, subcategory i will pull the subcategory to columns and i want to look at the sales so i will click on sales here and i will go here and i will change the type to stack bar and now I will pull in sales to size so that it changes accordingly and I will change the view to entire view and I will just sort it. Now this is what is your funnel chart but it's not complete yet here so I will have to make some modifications so I will just find unit so I just want to get rid of the axis and <clears throat> I want to add the values here so I will add subcategory here and I want to add the sales here to the to the labels here and then let me make some changes here as well I will make it bold increase the size to 14 apply and here uh, I will go to table calculations quick table calculations and then I will make it to percent to total and now here uh, I want to get rid of these lines right so I'll just format it again and here I will go to borders in borders I will change the pan, pan to none header to none pan to none again and I will go to the line section here and I will change it to none trend lines, reference lines, drop lines, so all the axis and lines I will change it to none. So now this is how your uh, funnel chart would look like. So this is one of the ways how you can create a funnel chart. So uh, let me name this as funnel chart 1. Now let's look at another way of creating a funnel chart. So here, uh, in order to create a funnel chart, uh, what you will have to do is you'll have to create some calculated fields well in advance. So uh, let me show you. So what I can do is I will just go here and create a calculated field. So uh, so I'll tell you what, what is the use of creating those calculated fields. So let me create those fields first. So I will name the field as uh, phones. I'll just uh, number it as one and name it as phones and if ttr subcategory so here uh, i'm taking the subcategory because i want to create a funnel chart based on a subcategory and sums so uh, it, so whatever uh, on whatever uh, uh, dimension you want to create a funnel chart you will have to add that dimension here in this formula so in this uh, subcategory uh, field, uh, I have close to 17 values. So if you look at the subcategory here, so let me close this down and let me show you. So here if I go here and then uh, look at the values, so we have 17 different values showing up. So I will have to create 17 different uh, calculated fields here. So that, that's what I was doing here. So the, uh, I will go here and create a calculated field. So I will, like I mentioned, I'll put it as phones and the formula would be if 
attribute subcategory is equal to I'll first I'll put it as chair or I will use a lookup function here under lookup function I will use the attribute function again and here I will put it as subcategory again here if this subcategory equals chair then uh, I would take the sum of sales and I will end it here and here I will press minus one because I want to compare it with the previous row and yeah so looks like oh looks like uh, iPhones is already existed existing here so I'll just rename it as one so I'm not creating a field actually here because I already have created a field so I've kept it ready so I just wanted to uh, show you guys that this is the formula that uh, we should be using uh, in order to create uh, a, a funnel chart under this method so this is the this is the formula that we should be using so I will have to create uh, 17 such uh, fields calculated fields because uh, under subcategory we have got 17 values in it so I'll have to create create 17 such calculated fields here so I'll not save it here for now because I already have created those fields if you see here I have created phones I have created chairs I have created storage I have created all the uh, fields for all the values that are showing up under subcategory so this is what uh, uh, we should be doing here and then comes uh, you'll have to drag the measure names so uh, I will go here and I will pull in the measure names here and then here I will select all the calculated fields that I have created and unselect the fields which are already existing so I'll just click on OK and then I will go here and select the measure names and drop it under columns and then I will go to subcategory and then drop it here now what i will do is i'll just sort it accordingly i'll just sort it and here i will have to duplicate this measure value for that uh, what i can do is i can just click on it click on control and then drag it onto your right and release it this will create an another axis here or a duplicate uh, field for measure so i will go here and then double click on it i'll click on this reverse showing up here I'll then close it and now uh, what I can do is I can uh, bring this measure name and drop it into the columns so I have uh, I will have to drop it so uh, we'll have to be a little careful here there are three cards if you see here we have all and then we have measure names for this part and we have measure names for this part now because I have dropped it here into this uh, first measure name only in because in that case only the first part of the measure name is getting highlighted with different colors so i will have to make sure that i am doing it in the all cards so i'll have to drop this measure names into the colors uh, palette in in the all cards now this is how it would look like so now uh, one important thing to be done here is you'll have to go to analysis and then make sure that you're checking this option off so just make sure that it's off it's not turned on and then I will go here and then mark it as area now uh, what I will have to do is all the measures that I have added here I will have to make sure that I'm going to compute uh, using subcategory so I'll have to use this or do this for all the uh, uh, fields that I have added here so one of the shortcut methods that you can do is you can just select all the fields at a go by uh, pressing your shift key and selecting all the values here like this and I'll go here and compute using subcategory so yeah so this is how your uh, funnel chart would look like so it's not complete yet so uh, let me get rid of the uh, access and the values that I don't need so I will just double click on it and I will get rid of the headers I'll get rid of this header as well and I will put it in entire view and here in this case I want the labels to show up so I will just 
uh, get my subcategory I'll click on it and put it in labels and then uh, so here again one important uh, point to note here is if you put it in all it will show up on both the measure values so I don't want that to happen so what I can do is instead of dropping this subcategory under all uh, what I can do is I can do it in one of those measure values that are showing up here so I'll just click on subcategory and drop it under labels so that it shows up only for one part of the measure value and then I will click on sales drop under labels and I'll go to labels here and then here instead of automatic I'll click on the left alignment and yeah so I will not put it as automatic here and if I want to make some changes here what I can do is I can make it bold apply and finally what I can do is I'll go to quick table calculation and put it as percentage of total yeah and uh, now I want to get rid of these numbers or uh, these these uh, lines right so for that I can just double click I can just click on it and go to format here I will go to uh, borders here I will select none from the pan none from the header row divider and column divider right and I will go to this this thing again lines and here I will do the same thing I will mark it as none I'll mark none for all the values that are showing up here yeah and then I'll go to colors here and then I will change the opacity to 100 and uh, I, basically I should be doing it for the all again so I'll go to colors and then I'll do it for all yeah so this is how uh, we can create uh, a funnel chart using a second matrix or the second method in fact so these are the two ways how we can create a funnel chart so this is how it would look like if you put it on a dashboard so I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have liked this video please share it and subscribe thanks for watching